what's scary on primetime TV tonight? Back for New Year, Minnesota. Halloween is just around the corner. So what's the lineup on primetime TV tonight? CSI, FBI, 5 Cop and Citizen Killers, Court TV, Law and Order reruns, war movies, and highlights of what's coming on the next season. What's on the next channel? To Catch a Crook, Cold Cases, Serial Killers, and Murder Mystery Marathons. Right after that, the News at 11, which displays everything we just saw on the TV in every city worldwide. Mainly because there is no law or order year to date. So the vicious cycle on and off the screen will repeat tomorrow. And the day after that, real life can be very frightening. Okay, let's find another channel where the chefs are mad and angry cooks poison each other for the grand prize and good ratings. Stream over to rude and vengeful celebrity judges. Especially if you can't cook or perform your gig according to their demands. If you can spit nails of fire, twerk on the ceiling, or hit a note so high all the glass in the room breaks, you can win X, Y, and Z. Surf another channel and celebrate the lifestyles of the rich, famous, and often self-centered. What's more entertaining than expensive dining at restaurants? Watching all kind of folks coming out the country clubs, coming out of beauty shops, coming out of the spa, coming out of the woodwork, and coming out the clubs. How thrilling. What's chilling is seeing a paparazzi's photo snapshot of a celebrity without makeup, or seeing a face after the stock market crashes. What could be scarier? Well, it's a tie between horror flicks and reality TV. Horror movies are pet, gore, blood and guts from the underground where the undead are sexy and zombies walk together. And when they're bored, they meet up with pretty spellcasters who hang out with vampires, werewolves, with extra rows of teeth to eat and control the living. Oh my. Reality TV has the same agenda. Find the most vulnerable person in the group to take down. Instead of monsters, they use handsome guys, really hot chicks, oddballs, and backstabbers. They all wind up on islands that look like paradise. Most of the competitions are sleazy, tricky, or fake. And the losers leave the island sobbing, wearing the same tasteless outfit they came in with, broke from entry and transportation fees. And now it's time for breaking news. Now here's a real hell on earth report. There are still monsters dressed in white robes, who burn crosses to terrorize the others. Oops, my bad. Nowadays they wear designer suits and pretty dresses. They hold positions of power, some work for Congress, seeking re-election. Others are law enforcers, judges, attorneys, and everyday people. To sum up today's new story, Creepy is trendy, danger is delightful. Being dead looks cool, powerful, and fun. They wreak havoc, take over homes, live debt free, laugh at the living, hang around with old and new ghosts, and have conversations with people who can see them. Stories like this are available on any screen you choose. If you enjoy being terrified, until then, enjoy your Halloween and upcoming autumn festivities. Remember the saints and the dead who are at rest. What a
stupid. Oops. I mean, stupendous world we live in. Aloha. Hello.